Hi everyone, this is Sandy again. In this video, I will share with you how you can connect Roomremi to Goha Level. Uh, this is specific for your clients that you're servicing them when their cons consumers um, sign up for a card and you want to help them to connect to Goha Level where then you can send SMS or email campaign um, through the Goha Level uh, platform. So I'm going to show you how you are able to do that. Again, we will need three different software. One is a Goha level and of course uh, your Boomerang account. And then we also need a third party integrator. You can use Pavly, Make.com or Zapier or any other um, third party softwares that connect to two softwares. So first of all, uh, you will need to go to Goha level um, and set up the custom field. Um, you can create the custom field using the setting here. So go to the setting and then go to custom field. What you want to set up is uh, you want to create um, car serial number. Serial number in case if you need it. Car serial number and create that one. Let's say for contact. Okay, and then the second one you wanted to do is a uh, car installation link. Contact, there you go. Uh, you can also add the car installation QR code uh, if you wish to, but I'm just going to leave it for two for now, uh, just for demonstration. And then what happened is you will need to uh, go to the Goha level. Uh, so let's go to the uh, Boomerang first. So go to Boomerang Me. We're going to go to the account setting over here. And then we go to webhook. Then we need to add the webhook. So what you're basically doing here is you're telling Boomerang Me when someone signs up for the card, you want Boomerang Me to feed that data back to a Pavli account. Then by Pavli, will do an action series of action to feed the data back to Goha level. Okay, so we want to add a webhook here and we want to use a customer that's being created. Okay, now you can choose different um, settings if you want to. So for example, you want to only add it to Goha level when car is being issued or car is being installed. Um, I personally just use when customer is being created uh, just for easy uh, easy use um, but you can do sort of different way of doing it okay um, and then what you are going to do is you go to Pavli okay now you go to Pavli you will connect choose webhook by Pavli as a trigger then you will copy this URL over here then you're going to come back to your Boomerang Me over here, paste that one. Okay, so I go here, copy, paste the URL, and then you're going to add the webhook over here. Okay, so once it's being added, it should show something like this. You can see it, that's what I did a test from before. Okay, then we're going to go back to Pavli over here. Okay, we can capture the lead. So this is what the output will look like. So once again, when somebody sign up on a registration form from uh, Boomerang Me for the card, uh, it will populate, for example, the phone number, first name, last name, date of birth, so forth, and email, um, and so forth. Okay. Now the next one is you want to create a filter. Now this is specific for Pavli. For whatever reason, sometimes the um, trigger may get fired not in the right uh, it may just trigger the file for any webhooks comes in. So you want to filter that one out. Uh, that's why you want to create a filter. This is a free task. Okay, so I create a filter using an event. When a customer is being created, it's equal to this value. Okay, so just copy and paste this value over here. That way, uh, then it will not fire from any webhook. It will, you are able to filter out its specific from one specific account and a specific for when the customer is being created. Okay, so you'll see the value over here say success. Now we're gonna create, uh, basically what we want to do is you can um, try to find the customer that being created 
inside Boomerang me. So I'm using the API v1 here, but you can switch to API 2.0. Uh, the concept is very similar. Uh, basically, you type again, your content type will be application and JSON. Your access token, you then enter your um, API key from your Boomerang me over here. In this case, it will be the specific sub account that you created. Okay, so the API key is not your Boomerang me agency API key. It's the sub account that you created because uh, you are trying to webhook out, which is export out the info of that particular sub account when the consumer opts in for a loyalty program. Okay. Then we want to filter using the phone number. So I just added a value for phone number where we uh, basically extract it from here. Okay, from, from here. Okay. And then the next one is we then want to talk to Go High Level. Okay, so now the next action is you're going to select the lead connector that's Go High Level. And we want to create or update the contact. Okay, then you will have all these data over here. So you're going to fill out, uh, you want to pull out the uh, first name, last name, email, phone number, should be straightforward. And then what we want to do for adding this one is to add a text. I'm going to explain that in a little bit, but you want to make sure you have a new tag each time a new customer is being created when uh, someone opting for the loyalty car. Okay. And then the next one is if your registration form of Boomerang Me has uh, the date of birth, you can put the date of birth here. And then you can put your serial number here. So again, these data might as well just feed it back to go high level. Okay, so your car installation link, uh, the car serial number, if you want a QR code, you can do that. That's the reason why we create a customer field in the beginning. Okay. Once we have all that one done, uh, you can test it out and it should show ABCD uh, being success. Now we're going to go back to the go high level over here. Okay. So what happened to the tag is uh, what we're going to do is we need to create an automation. So when the data feeds back here, it will just simply create a contact info over here. But you want to uh, tell go high level that you want to do some actions. For example, you want to send out an email, you want to send out a text message, you want to uh, do something about it. Okay. So what's going to happen is once the data feeds back to here, create a contact, you want to create a automation inside Goha level. Okay. So we want to create a workflow here, create from scratch. This is how we're going to use it is we can add a tag. Okay, so this is what happened is you want the tag to be is when tag is being added is car. Okay, so uh, and in this case, I'll create a new one like this. Okay, so when a tag is being added for car, which matches to here, uh, the tag over here, okay, tag to here. Okay, so that's what the trigger is. Okay, we wanted to click save. Okay, so when the tag is being added, then you can do email, send email. You can fill out the information. Okay. For example, uh, Gmail. I'm just going to fill out as example here. Okay. You can save this one. You can add SMS as well, too. Okay. Or you can put a template over there, for example. OK, now let's say uh, why do we even bother to feed back the car installation link over here back to go high level is because if you want to send um, the installation link directly to the consumer, this is where you can do because now it feeds back. So we go to the go high level over here. There's a custom value here and go to custom value. Okay, so I don't have a, hold on, I don't have the account, but it should pop up a uh, installation link. So let me just create something quickly here. Okay, let me just save this one. Okay, and publish. Okay, remember to publish this one. So that's, let me go back to create a contact or use a contact. I'm just going to, as an example here, and additional info. General info. 
sorry, I forgot where I put my, oh, there you go. Okay, so this is where I did. Um, so yeah, so I'll put ABC as an as example. Okay, so let's say I've saved this one. Okay, and then let me go back to our automation over here. Uh, and then the workflow that we just literally created, which is this one. Okay, so if I go back to here, if I want to send that installation link, it's not showing here. Contact, oh, there you go. Sorry, never mind. Uh, it's actually here. So I add it into the contact group. So we'll be here, customer field, and then the car installation link. So this is how you are able to send out the direct installation link to a consumer who just signed up the loyalty program. Okay. Um, by all means, there are more actions that you can do, but just this is just a really brief how you can feed the data from Boomerang Me to Go High Level and do some further actions for further marketing purposes for your clients.